Welcome back, my name is Excel Shot. I got another tutorial for you guys. This one has to do with the Windows Update error. Um, it has something to do with broken certificate store or, or something weird that is from the latest update that causes Windows Update to break. So every time you try to search for new updates, it gives you this error and, and it will continuously do it for the rest of the computer's life. So there are many tutorials up there on how to like reset the Windows Update folder, use the Windows Update troubleshooter, configure a firewall, download ma updates manually, run system check. All these other tutorials that I've seen, and I've tried all of them, and none of them really seem to help. So um, I'm just going to show you a quick way to really get past it and get your computer updated on the latest and greatest. So. Um, we'll go to this website and let me pull it from the screen over here. There we go. Um, so this update tool seems to overwrite whatever issue your computer is having. So you go to update now and I'll leave a link uh, in the description below for this so you can find it pretty easy. Um, and then you just click on the um, file that it downloaded, the exe file. It's going to ask you to allow this app to make changes to your device. You won't see this on screen because it's uh, off screen, but I could click yes. And then it's going to pop up with this screen here. It says update to the latest version of Windows 10. And of course, it gives you a description of what it's doing. You want to click update now. And it's going to double check your uh, system requirements to make sure that it works. And you click next. And then Windows Update will start to do its thing. It will uh, double check your computer uh, specs, your configuration, um, and then it'll download. My computer takes a while to download things because of my slow internet, so I will be back once this, this is down. All right, so the update downloaded. It verified the update with my computer, and now it, it is updating my system. Of course, like with any update, once you download and install it, you will have to restart your system. Once that is installed, uh, go ahead and head over to your Windows updates and check for updates, and it shouldn't have that error anymore. This is really the only solution I've found that has fixed that issue. I work uh, with a computer company, and we have various computers, and all of them had the same issue, and this is the only solution I found that could fix it. Anyway, hope that helped you. Uh, leave a comment down below if it did. And uh, if there's anything else that you found, other solutions, uh, that'd be great if you could leave them down below. Uh, like I said, I'll leave a link to the this Windows Update in installer on the, the description. Um, hope you guys have had a great start to your new year, 2020. I'll catch you guys next time.